Hi everyone, my name is Karen and I'm a multimedia artist. Today we're still working on our 24 days of wash advent calendar, which basically just means that we challenge ourselves to paint with one random color at a time, or one random color a day. And today I'm going to show you in this video a compilation of day three and day four. So go ahead and grab your cup of coffee and let's get painting. Okay, so here we go with day three and let's see what we get. Here, I wasn't completely sure what I was getting. At first, I thought maybe it was a very deep blue, but it turned out to be just black. I will be using the Arches Hot Pressed Watercolor Paper, but since the sheet is a little too big for my liking or for the purpose of these cards, I will be cutting this in half. Then I start sketching my design with pencil. I try to keep it as festive as I can since I'm only working with black. Here I'm applying a very light wash, which is basically the same approach that I would take if I were doing a pencil drawing. I just lay down a layer of mid-tone values so this way I can start building the shadows and the highlights as I go. This process truly reminds me of my pencil drawings, which is one of the mediums that I really enjoy working with. What do you guys love working with? Do you work only with gouache? Or do you venture in other mediums? I would love to hear your thoughts and read your comments down below. time to deepen those shadows with darker values and to start adding in those little details. If you are following along this challenge with me, I would love for you to tag me on Instagram at Karen de la Luna so I can see your beautiful pieces of work. And this way we can keep building this amazing community of artists and see our creations and share our thoughts and exchange our opinions. I had actually considered leaving this piece just like this, but then I thought of my little bonus. So I added a few little dots with the silver acrylic ink just to add a little bit of sparkle. What do you guys think? Do you like it better with the little sparkles or do you like it better in the classic form? Here is a much better view. Now 
now we go for our day four of our advent calendar. Let's see what color we get. And we're getting brown, guys. I know it doesn't necessarily say Christmas, but I think that's the fun of the challenge. It forces you to step outside of the box and make creations that are festive without necessarily using the classic colors. So for this one, I will be using again my watercolor hot press paper and white. And one thing that I discovered while I've been working on these paintings is that I really enjoy the synthetic brushes for gouache. I like them much better than the exclusively watercolor brushes just because they have a better snap to them. So they kind of have a better hold and control for the paint. Now I start sketching with pencil these cute little guys. And then I lay down the first like wash of the paint and I keep in mind that I want my light source to come from the upper left corner of my painting. This way I know where I will be applying the lightest values and the darker shadows. This in turn will give you much more dimension for your paintings. see how I start lifting the paint so I can keep in mind that I have my light source coming from the upper left corner. Now it's time to add a little bit of shadows. Doesn't that give the impression that these little guys are raised above the page? some texture to this little guys. So I discovered something as I've been working with these little paintings. Like I said before, I'm learning alongside with you. This medium is new to me, but this is something I found out. Dry brushing. Dry brushing just gives a very natural and organic texture to the painting. For this one in particular, I needed it to be a little bit rough around the edges, so this way it gives the impression of that gingerbread. And uh, I can only imagine that this dry brushing must work beautifully on cold press paper. Right now I'm using hot press, which is a lot smoother on the surface, but the cold press paper has a lot of grooves and valleys on the surface so I can only imagine that the dry brushing would be a lot more pronounced on cold press but either way right here it worked beautifully I really enjoyed doing this technique around the edges of my gingerbread here I'm coming with my pen white ink to add some fun little details in case you're new here, in this challenge, I've given myself the option to use one extra ink, whether it's gold, silver, or white. For this one in particular, I'm using the white. siblings, the jokester, the grumpy, and the empath. I just think it's really funny how you can have many different personalities within siblings, 
and I thought it would be fun to portray it in this cute little card. So here's a better view and what do you guys think? Do you like it? Would you have painted something similar with this brown color? I would love to hear that in your comments. So there you have it guys. I hope you enjoyed and you join me on the next one. If you like this video, please subscribe and hit a like and maybe hit those bell notifications so you can get notified when I upload my new video. Have a good one and happy holidays.